Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Avorian with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to a battle I wasn't going to record until I got a whole host of Trinium from these enemies. These are the Zotan, and apparently they are quite elite ones, thankfully in a very, very small group. I've just got closer to the Galactic Center, and I'm close enough now that Trinium is being formed naturally in the asteroids around us, although I wasn't really finding all that much. Then suddenly, out of nowhere, we are being attacked by the Zotan and their massively Trinium-based ships. Already we have 7,000 just from this battle alone. I also have some Trinium weapons, mostly in the form of some bolters, and my damage, at least my firepower, is now all the way to 2,000... 253. I can do a lot of damage now, although all of my weapons are burst based, except for my single salvaging laser, because I only had one. Ooh, hello. This fellow looks scary. I only had one salvaging laser that could actually work on Trinium based ships, so the rest I've simply actually used the research station on, which got me one of my new weapons, one of my cannons, which is actually Trinium, which is this one here. The double cannon turret, which is Trinium. I've also got a load of new mining lasers, which aren't currently equipped, which are thankfully all very, very high quality, all of the exceptional quality. Not quite exotic, but one-off. So quite a bit's been happening off camera. Was going to be a more relaxing time explaining this all, but thankfully we just got a lot of the way towards getting our new ships, or at least our new fighters. Now can you please die? I want your stuff. The new lasers I have do a lot of damage, but sadly require so much energy they sap my reserves in about 20 seconds. So it is a little bit worrying, but there we go. We have destroyed our first Trinium enemies and got a fortune from them. So I'm going to turn on, no, my salvaging lasers once more, harvest them for their Trinium because I may as well, and then I'll be right back with our next step of the plan. A bit of a weird intro, I do admit. Ooh, shiny, what are you? Hello there, you are... A double Trinium mining turret. And that is a lot of damage for a mining turret. It even has independent targeting. Okay, well that's a pretty good start, but what I was about to do is show off the burst damage of these bolter weapons. I think the bolter may surprisingly be the favourite weapon I've used so far. It does overheat like the cannon, but it doesn't overheat for quite as long, and the reload isn't quite as bad, so it's a more moderate version of the cannon that isn't quite as sustainable as lasers and such, but... It fires like that, and as you can see, there were several 300s there, all by the bolter. Which is kind of fantastic, honestly, considering how fast this thing can fire. So a lot of damage from the bolter, our cannons have been improved, as you can see, and the lasers take up a load of power, but also do so much damage. We are much more powerful than we were in the previous video. Now I really should go back to using the salvaging laser, just because of how much we do need this trinium. Okay, we have definitely gone way too far down towards the galactic center, because now there's a brand new material which we didn't have access to before. And more worryingly, I can actually mine this, because we managed to get a couple of Trinium mining turrets. So let's put those on the front, and yes, this looks like an absolute mess at the moment, because this is a Trinium plate. It's the only piece of Trinium currently on my craft, so everything which requires that is on that plate. Yes, it looks absolutely ridiculous. Yes, it will be changed very, very soon. So there we are, two pieces of trinium attached, four and four. Turn off everything else. Wait, no, not four, five. I already have four for the bolters. There we go. And let's mine ourselves some Zanian. That's how I'm going to call it. First lump broken, okay. Uh, what type of efficiency do these have? 28 and 15. Not too bad. Would have been great if they're both 28, but let's just continue with this. Should I really be doing this? This seems a bit silly, but either way, I'm doing it. This is taking way too long. Having only two mining turrets which we can even use on this is just sort of ridiculous. Though it seems like we're about to have some company. So let's fire some weapons. Ta-da! And now they should be hostile to us. So pressing R to find them, and they are over here. Hello there, Zotan. 
Whoa! Zotan, that is a lot of shots there, buddy. Not that high a firepower, though. Actually, a little bit surprised. The enemies we're fighting earlier were stronger than this. But I'm not going to complain, because I want their sweet, sweet goodies. That was a really creepy way of saying that. I do agree. There we are. I'll accept all of that trinium you just dropped and the items. Oh, that's plasma. Okay, yep, yeah, that's actually doing quite a bit of damage to our shields. Let's be a bit smart about that. Swap out some, uh, swap out some of our close quarters weapons for our long range weapons. And let's see if we can just dack at him from a distance. Whoa, that ship's massive. Yep, not going to fight with that. We're going to fight the little guys to aid our ally there. That seems like the more reasonable option. Yeah, definitely prefer the bolters over the cannons. And down goes the shield, so now we're actually doing some damage to it. One of my bolters does double damage against hull, so hopefully... This is going to be pretty good now the shields are down. Down goes the first Zotan, on to the second. Now there's only one, we can just go nice and close and just fire everything we have at him, including the mining lasers, of course. Okay, I see wiggly lines. Is that meant to be like a lightning gun or a Tesla gun? It certainly looks like it. All my power currently drained by my lasers, so I'll turn off the lasers for a moment. And back on. And down. I feel a bit small now. Aha, you did drop an item. Ooh, it's a weapon as well. Sorry, sorry. Is that a cannon? It looks like a cannon. And... It's a... Really, really good cannon. Oh my lord, 574 damage and faster cooling. Yes, please. Give me your sweet, sweet trinium. Then we'll simply go away. I don't want to be in this area any longer. These were classed as small enemies and they were still huge. What was that? Legendary? I didn't even know there was a legendary status in this game. A legendary scanner. I... Okay. Let's blast these things apart for some more random items. Then I'm going to go back towards... Well, away from the, galact the galactic center so that I can get some more stuff done with the trinium. We're not quite this level yet, honestly. We need to be a bit bigger before we're here and we're here safe. Ooh, we have a lightning turret. Ooh, that takes up a lot of energy. That does a lot of damage as well. And that's with independent firing. I'm assuming lightning does a lot of damage, but drains all of your power, at least. That's their purpose in life. But first, let's equip our new turret. Uh, this one here. That's so powerful! Uh, okay, which one of you is the weakest of the cannons? At least when it comes to Trinium, we can mine this stuff a lot faster. Because we have so many Neonite mining lasers with actually pretty high efficiency. So, we're already on 600, and we've been here for a matter of moments. I'm going to probably get to at least 15,000 Trinium, and then we can continue to do a massive upgrade to our current ship. Which, by the way, is far bigger than I think a lot of people do seem to realise. If we go back into our little mining drone, yeah, it's not exactly the smallest vessel in the world. It's not overly huge, but I think because of how I've built it and because of the scale I used, it just seems to be a lot smaller than it really is until you come across something you know the size of, and then you realise, actually, no, it's pretty darn large. Oh dear lord, look at our shield going down. Well, that was almost a fifth of our shield in about three seconds. Okay, now we're fighting enemies more on our level, and actually, we're not going to run. We're going to fight straight back. Because you don't actually have a shield. Ooh, what'd you just drop? I can have a look in a second. <laughs> well, apparently that enemy was actually a glass cannon, so ignore that. All the damage in the world, but no shield and no health. Like I was saying before, we have drastically improved our damage. Give me all of your items. 
Now, what did it drop? We didn't really have a chance to look before it fired it from there. A triple railgun turret. I have no idea what a railgun turret is. Okay, it overheats, it doesn't take energy, which is nice. It does a lot of damage. And then also, I... Oh, my lord. Okay, so a Zanian double Tesla turret. Exceptional quality. It does 394 damage per second. And it doesn't cost that much energy, actually, in comparison to some of the other stuff. We've also got another railgun turret. Whoa, these guys just gave us loads of expensive gubbins. Well, I am very happy with that. Thank you very much to the aliens today, who apparently have been very kind in giving us everything we could possibly want. And another blue gun being dropped. This is a double bolter turret. Oh, look at that damage. Even with independent targeting, that's still amazing damage. Yep, I have got another good bolter as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the Zanian. And another exceptional item. I am getting very lucky today. Although it's not a particularly good one, it should be worth a lot on the black market. Or, of course, we could always just sell it, uh, sorry, use it at the research station. Now, who just came in? I saw a message. Uh, hello, I am Merchant McBob or something like that. Uh, you're a loader. Uh, you... A mobile resource merchant. Okay, you sell resource. Yep, you do that. You definitely do it. Well done. But right now, back to salvaging things. And then back to mining. Okay, I have just equipped the railgun turret. So for now, we'll put that on three. And let's see what it does then. Railgun, fire! Ooh, that was a lot of damage. Okay... I love how that looks, I've got to say. I would love a volley of those. A thousand damage though, really? It says here only 336. Why is that saying a thousand though when we fire it? I kind of want to test against a living thing, and well, this fellow here is a living thing. Let's just take one shot at its shield. I'm sorry sir, but you are a test subject for our railgun. Now, how long is the range on this? The range is... 4.34. Okay, firing now. Yeah, okay, that's more reasonable. It only did 300. Even so, that's pretty good. One volley, one kill. So, some pirates are now also attacking. Apparently, I'm just not allowed to mine this place in peace. But with our upgraded firepower, I'm feeling really good right now. Especially with those bolters. That bolter burst damage is glorious beyond belief and is so satisfying to use. Which I which honestly I think is the main part there. And down you go. I really want more bolters. Ooh, we got another Tesla weapon? Yes. And again, it's a Zanian one. If nothing else, that'll be worth quite a bit. Right now, I would like to stay away from energy using weapons because although we do have a lot of energy... Uh, production at the moment. We don't really have enough for weapons as well. Even the lasers are starting to really take their toll. And once again, we salvage. And down goes the wreckage. Okay, enough of all this nonsense. Let's actually make some progress today. We're going to go over to this sector in the distance over here because they have an equipment dock, which means we can purchase fighters and we can purchase some new crew members which will become our pilots. So as soon as I can teleport, we will, and then finally upgrading our ship and adding some fighters to our craft. Most likely mining fighters for the time being, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And actually, now I've said that, I would like to quickly check uh, where is the equipment dock. It's over there, just behind that. If the different mining fighters have different qualities. So can we buy a Trinium fighter, for instance? Okay, yes we can. So we can buy chain gun, salvaging, cannon, laser, and repair. No, mining. You can definitely buy mining elsewhere, but apparently it's just not from here. We could, of course, get salvaging ones, which would be very cool. Oh, although they are also very, very expensive. Wow. I wonder how much our legendary item will cost, at least to sell. Oh, wow, 929,000. Thank you very much. Yep, we are fine when it comes to money right now. Excellent. One day I will probably add the trading module and do the boring thing, which is going from sector to sector trading items. 
But until then, we will just kill things. Kill things and loot their corpses. Well, let's get building first of all. So, we need the Trinium Hanger. And I think I know how I'm going to do this. So, can I attach it here? No, I can't. And the question is, why not? What's stopping me from allowing it to attach to there? Let's take away the grid size a little bit so I can actually place it more manually. I can put it all... Okay, I can put it all the way up to there, but not quite. What I was thinking is if we can make it thin, we could have this run a large distance along here, and then deeper. Something like that, so we extend this section all the way through, and then we could extend these lumps through as well as support struts, making them no longer what they currently are. Not too sure. We'll see. We'll see how I can do that. There we are. So apparently we can hold between 6 and 55 fighters. That seems a little bit odd, but okay. Why does it say that so weirdly? I don't quite know what that means. I'm guessing, oh, perhaps certain fighters have a different mass from each other. Okay, that's something I actually need to check right now. Yep, they do have a size component. Some of them, like this cannon fighter, are a whopping seven, whereas some, like the salvaging fighter, are only a humble one, which means you can have a very, very varied size of fighter. We also have repair fighters, which could be very interesting. Okay, it's definitely taking shape. Still a lot of work before it's finished, but we now have a lot of space here to work with, which will be on the inside, which means we can start adding things like crew quarters and additional generators and everything else we could possibly want. Now, recently, there has been a change to the game, so a lot of things, I know for a fact, thrusters at least, no longer work off a surface area system, they now work off volume, which honestly, it should have been in the first place. It makes a lot more sense than surface area, because with the surface area system, you could just cheese a lot of power out of a small area by making everything into thin slices, and that definitely is what you should have done, because it was a smart thing to do, but it just didn't seem right at all. So, I'm very happy with that, and so, we can continue and add some new thrusters to the back here, without revolving around building everything very, very thin. Although it looks a bit unfinished, and it certainly is, I think now I know how this ship is going to look in its final form. It certainly isn't there yet, but this makes a fantastic front section, which will be very easy to widen the next time we upgrade it, in addition to simply adding more upgrades and loads of weapon placement both on the top and on the bottom. We now also have a ridiculous amount of energy generation thanks to a huge generator being hidden just underneath the hull, and we can hold a lot more energy as well in addition to loads more cargo and loads more crew. So, we just need to keep on upgrading, keep on adding thrusters, until this is once again a viable ship, able to go out into the cosmos and scrap and kill everything in sight. Now we're fighters. Now here's something interesting. We could now start messing around with the hyperspace core. Now the hyperspace core is a pretty simple system in terms of what it does. It increases our hyperspace reach and takes away power. So it's a very, very power hungry item, which means we wouldn't need the hyperspace upgrade to be always in our ship. At least, unless we want to do really, really long jumps. And it isn't even that expensive when it comes to credits and resource. So I think I will be adding this, unless the Neonite one is just as good. No, it's not, at least in terms of how much we're going to spend. Okay, then let's go with Trinium. We're not spending Trinium on anything else right now, so we may as well add the hyperspace core. Where are you? There we are. No, there we are. How big can we make this before we run out of money? Not much bigger than that. Let's just lower the scale step a little bit. Uh, so for now, it's that. Okay, once again, lowering it. Screw it, lowering it to almost minimum. So that will give us plus 5.2, which isn't really much of a important thing since we started off on 2.5 so really what we're looking for is closer to 4.5 something like that okay let's add this there we are and that 
did make our required energy jump and we do need some more mechanics and especially we need some more specialist mechanics. The reason why I'm building here is because soon once we have more resource again I'm going to build a command bridge up here which should protect everything underneath. I want some more parts of the ship to kind of stick out. At the moment we're a pretty basic shape which I'm not overly happy with. Either way though that's really good and I'm assuming that will simply stack with this upgrade. Click yes. Wow, 13 seconds. Sorry about that. The phone just went. Like I was saying, I just wondered if it did stack with the upgrade, and apparently it does, which is absolutely wonderful. Although, we could just simply do this. And now we can have four more guns. Now, that is amazing, but since we don't have the gunners to support that right now, let's just put back the hyperspace upgrade so we can jump really far away. Ooh, also, apparently something very bad is heading our way. Hopefully that's just the alien race, because that wouldn't be too bad for us, as it means we don't have to fight them unless we start fighting them, which is pretty good. Okay, so what else do we need then? There's not much else we really need, so I think I'll just do a little bit of work trying to make this look a little bit better. Like I was saying, it looks a bit simplistic at the moment, although I think the reason for that is because I have plans for the future, and this is only the front of the ship. Well, it turns out, uh, doing a little bit of fighting, or at least a little bit of salvaging near the end, is very, very lucrative. Because a load of enemies have just died nearby, and I instantly scrapped them, and got these two lovely exceptional double cannon turrets. And although they are the independent firing version, which means they do less damage, they are actually still really powerful, even with that being taken into account. And now... I need to add some more armed weapons, which means I need to remove this and add this instead so that we can add four more weapons to our ship, and we still have a pretty good hyperspace reach due to the upgrade we did only a moment ago. So we have this quad cannon turret, which I definitely want, and yes, I know, it's still a mess at the front. I'm very soon to add some, what they call, the sections where you put weapons on all along the side. I will be doing that soon, made out of trinium, so I don't have to have all my guns at the front, which, let's face it, is incredibly vulnerable. At least now my shield is strength 54,000, even without all of the upgrades, because I'm just very, very lucky like that. I've also got a new lightning turret, which apparently is actually different to the Tesla. I wonder what the difference is. I wonder how they both act differently. Uh, where are you? Lightning turret. I just saw you. There we are. Takes up energy. Does regular damage. I don't know the difference between the Tesla and the lightning just yet. I'll look more into it afterwards. I haven't really had a chance to look at it anyway. So, do we have any more cannons? Or is that it for cannons? That is it for cannons. Okay, then the next thing I want to add is the triple railgun turret. Let's put that there. Yes, we'll add some more gunners in a second. And how many more guns? I can still add two more guns. So, um, a couple of the Tesla turrets? Sure, why not? This one and maybe the lightning turret. Sure, lightning turret goes there. Tesla turret can go there. We'll attach that to the same thing as our lasers, so it's quickly going to here. Wow, so many new weapons. Oh, our firepower is now 5,700. Today has been a good day for upgrades. Cannon. Cannon. Tesla, which is two. Uh, I'll put the rail guns on the same as the cannons for now. Lightning and cannon. And cannon. Everything good? Everything good. Okay. Okay, next step, we get some more crew members, or at least some more specialist crew members, and then finally, we can test out the fighters, because then the craft will be all finished and everything will be good, at least in terms of functionality. We have stronger shields, we are now actually a pretty big ship, and we have actually really, really complex systems and decent weapons. We just need more weapons. Everything is going fine. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Thank you. I now have pilots on board, so now all we need to do is go over and get the sodding fighters so we can test them out, and everything will be great in the world. I am rapidly running out of time for today's episode, but building this has been very, very time-consuming, but I swear we will have fighters by the end of this, at least for a very small test. I've also figured out the difference between the Lightning and the Tesla weapon. If we were to fire forwards right now, you will see that one is going to be a burst fire, and the other one is more consistent. 
There we are. That tiny little zappy thing at the bottom is the more consistent one, and then the other one is glorious, and it's blue lightning. I think I definitely prefer the one which is firing less often. I don't want to say which one it is, because I very well might be wrong. Hello there, equipment doc, my bestest friend of all time. Give me things. Just give me thi- uh, that's different. You have a bolt. Ooh, lightning fighters. Oh, that would look so cool. Size 2. How much can we hold at the moment? We can hold... Uh, da, 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 da. Between 6... Okay, so we have essentially 55 as our space. So we can have quite a few of them then. Okay, so by fighters... I might be wrong there. That might be the wrong way to look at it, but I'm using that anyway. Size is 2. I'll buy all of them then. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yep, thank you. So now we go into hangar. Yes. Do all of these have a pilot by themselves? Do I need to put them somewhere? Uh, pilots. Okay, so I actually don't have enough pilots. That's fine. Let's just remove one of these then. Um, can I just remove this or is this just as it is? New squad. Zappy. Okay, Zappy is the name. That seems reasonable. Now, I know we can use them by just clicking this. However, I don't know if... There's an easier way, like a hotkey. I'll look into that straight after the video. There's not much we can do right now. We can't really hyperspace jump because I am really out of time. I should have stopped recording about an hour ago. Just for reference, I keep on losing hours when playing this game. But I need to test this out. Go! Attack! Yes! Yeah, 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 I know. Where are they? There they are. They're tiny. Oh, they're adorable. Look how small they are. Hello, little... You're so slow! Oh, for some reason I thought you you going to be so quick, but then I realised how big I am, and then it's like, oh, that's why I'm fast. Look at them! Look at them! Oh, we should have got the salvage versions. In fact, we can have two groups, because we don't need pilots to be always in them. Yeah, I'm going to go back and get the salvage versions as well. Yes, look at that, though! Little zappy things! Wow, that's such a quick... Each of those does, like, 80 damage, I believe. No, 176 damage per shot. I mean, we are salvaging that thing by attacking it. Oh, fighters are going to be awesome when we have space for more. Think about hundreds of these things coming out of the ship to scrap and destroy everything. And it's all automated. I don't need to aim and fire constantly. Just send them on their way. Oh, I am really happy with that. Yes. They're very expensive though, that's the problem, and they, and they can be shot down. And they're like 80,000 credits each, or 60,000, something like that. But even if I only end up using them for salvage, this is awesome. And I need to get more of them, and I also need more pilots. The pilots I have currently are specialist pilots. Does that make any difference, I wonder? I've only currently got the specialist versions. Okay, uh, guys, come back to me. So, Zappy, return! Come back to your mother. Me! Ah. Oh, look how cute they are when they come home. Oh, they're so tiny. They're so tiny, teeny. Okay, so they can be upgraded then. So I imagine that eventually we need less pilots for the more advanced ones because some of the fighters did require more than one pilot. Okay, that was absolutely awesome. Thank you so much for watching, Sir and Threads, but I'm afraid I am really, really, really out of time. It's been a load of fun. This game is ridiculously addictive. In the next episode, I think we're going to focus on combat. I want to get loads more of those fantastic drones, some more fighters. I want to improve the ship's looks, very importantly, even though it doesn't look bad at the moment. It just looks bland. That's the big thing. It just looks boring, and that's an ultimate sin. So thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff. Help out me, help out the channel, and most importantly, show that Avorian is a series you wish to see continued in the future. In the next episode, I will be getting some more fighters and testing them out, like I say, and I've just figured out something right now. We do need specialist fights, sorry, pilots. Only specialist, specialist pilots are able to use the fighters. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Have a lovely day. Do take care. Toodles.